In this next 3D part, we're going to see what else we can do with the extrude. Let's create a new document, and this time we're going to create a rectangle, but we're just going to click so that we can make the exact shape that we want. 300 pixels by 300 pixels to start off with. I also like to give it that same settings of maybe the green front, or something that is a somewhat neutral color, um, light and black values. Let me go ahead and give it that green because it's more pleat a little bit more pleasing. Um, and the reason why is because we can um, see, of course, the shading applied to this a little bit easier. Let's go to 3D, choose um, Extrude and Bevel, and if we click on the preview so we, we can actually see it, um, you'll notice that I have my sides here, and we're going to make our extrusion depth the exact same thing as the length of the sides. And that looks a little bit better. We can, of course, add a little bit of perspective if you want to, although it does tend to change um, what size your object is and anytime you do the extrusion or sorry the perspective it seems like you need to add lights as well to make it work a little bit more effectively so there we can have a little bit more light applied now what we're going to be working with now is the artwork mapping art to the sides. If you click on map art, you'll notice that we have symbols here and it means that whatever we want to map to our sides has to be a symbol first. So we can click on the symbol, you'll notice it's up there, and we can scale it up if we want. Notice that we can scale it beyond the edges, so that can be um, not the smartest thing, but we also have this scale to fit, and that does a pretty good job of, of scaling it right to the size that we need. Now we can switch between our surfaces by clicking on this little toggle here, and that will cycle through. We can choose a different object, and of course, scale it to the fit, and it might be that we actually have to rotate that object as well so that it's correct. And I just used the shift key to make sure that it was at a 90 degree angle when it finished. Now it's possible to add our own artwork. Let's go ahead and click OK, and OK again. To add our own artwork, we can create anything that we want, of course, but we might as well create another box. And this time I'm going to give it a different color, and I might even add a couple other objects on top of it. So let's give it um, some pretty obvious objects here. Actually, I'm going to give it some white polka dots, I guess. So there's the objects that I'm going to be putting in this side. I'm going to select the whole object and drag this over to my symbols. So now we go to the black arrow, drag it into the symbols, and you'll see it will make a symbol. Now it's a good idea to give it um, a, some sort of name, side 2, just calling it that just in general, and then we can delete that symbol um, off of the stage. And we can also use images. So if I have an image from somewhere and I want to use that um, in this, then I can of course copy that image, paste it into um, Illustrator, or rather even better, edit in Photoshop, and then import it into Illustrator, and drag it over into my symbols, and you'll see this is the clock, and now I have an image, a photo that's being used. Let me delete that from the stage, go back to my 3D object, back to the appearance menu, click on the 3D bevel and um, extrude and bevel options, and then I can go and start messing with the different objects. So I'd like to change out the home for side 2, and I'd like to change out that object for the photo. And you'll see that we in do indeed get it to fit, and we just made sure that we prepared our graphics. Now, where we can go with this is if we bring in the right graphics, we can do amazing things. So what I'd like you to do is find the cardboard box images that are in your tutorials for the Illustrator 3D tools, and I'd like you to um, create a 3D box using these particular materials and mapping them to the sides. What you want to be take care about is the direction that these are going right now. You'll see that tape is going, and you want that to match up with the tape on the other sides as need be. And You'll see it has a top and it has a bottom of the box. So that should be a fun way to create a three-dimensional box in um, Illustrator. Now I do want to point out that once you've created your box, you can't just scale it, because if you try and scale it, you'll notice that it will really mess up your artwork. So once you've given it that size, save it that way, and uh, you're done. Thanks.